Today's experiment will be about the water cycle. It will show how evaporation, condensation and precipitation works and will show why hotter temperatures lead to more rainfall. The equipment needed for this experiment is cling wrap, a small transparent bowl, a big transparent bowl, salt, ice cubes, a spoon, hot water and a pair of kitchen gloves. First, put your kitchen gloves on and grab your hot water and pour it in the bowl. Next, grab your salt and pour some in the water and mix it in with your spoon until the salt dissolves in the water. Place the bowl in the water. The bowl will represent the land and the water will represent the ocean. Get your cling wrap and put it tightly over the bowl. Make sure you put a second one over so you don't leave any gaps. Now grab a few ice cubes and put it on top of the on, the, on top of the cling wrap. The um, ice will represent the cool atmosphere. After, we will wait 10 to 15 minutes and to see the precipitation. As you can see, here is the hot water down here. The cling wrap up here, which is the clouds, and the ice cubes on top. So what's really happening is that the air, that the sea has water vapour evaporating into the atmosphere and is condensing on the top. When it hits the ice cube, it will precipitate in the cup. This is condensation on the cloud, hitting the cool atmosphere, creating pre precipitation on the land. In another five minutes, we will take off the clouds and see how much precipitation we have on the land. It has been 10 minutes and I'm going to take off the cool atmospheres. Then we are going to take off the clouds, but be careful because the, um, the ice has left a puddle of cloud, of water because it has been melting when it was up in the cling wrap. After taking off the cling wrap, here is what is left. So inside the bowl we have some precipitation, but not that much. Let me see if I can pour it in. That's how much precipitation that the land has received. Okay, this is my water cycle experiment. It showed how evaporation, condensation and precipitation works and how it cycles around. Thanks for watching.